about John cheating. Computer, phone, text messages, emails. Guys, before, there is no gadgets. There is no cell phone. And it's really hard to find something. It's really hard to search something or everything we can do things easily before because there is no gadgets that we could use. But nowadays, dahil na uso na yung cell phone, tablets, or computers, laptop, napakaganda naman. Nowadays, guys, very easy. If you doubt with your partner, hindi ka lang nakaabang sa kilos ng asawa mo o sa kamay na dinudutot ng cellphone nila, pati ang cellphone babantayan mo. Aabangan mo kailan makuha mo yung cellphone para malaman mo kung anong tinatago sa cellphone. Lalo na guys, mag all the devices that we could use to find out or for investigations, it is really a great help for us. Pero kung minsan, nakakapraning na rin. Anyway, kahit ano pa man ikaw ang titil sa sarili mo, kagaya dito sa pangyayari nung no, just watch this video. There's no truth to it. That was, that was me I'm trying to escape my reality and pretend something else was going on. Uh, when I confronted John, he said that it was just a joke between him and his friend. But I do regret being so nosy. I kind of wish I knew the whole truth and I don't think I ever will. Yes, guys, internet and gadgets are very relevant that we could use for our investigations. Very convenient, pero guys, ito lang yung unfair. May mga mag-asawa na may gadgets naman sana but still lack of communications. Kung minsan napapaning ang partner, nakipag-usap ng sekreto sa phone. Alam ng partner na mayroong something kung hindi ML ang karibal, babae or lalaki ang karibal. Even though there's an evidences that you can prove it to that person kung ano yung mga bagay na nakatago dyan, but they are still denying it. May mga tao na hindi talaga marunong tumanggap ng kanilang pagkakamali. And then, yet, yeah, they still have to convince their partner that they are do wrong nothing. I'm, I'm hating my life. And uh, I don't know, I, just, I, I woke up one morning and I, you just, you look around and say, what the crap am I doing here, you know? I don't want this. I don't want this life. I, I, want, I want my family. I want the things that I care about. Pero pag once masira na ang relasyon nyo bilang mag-asawa, bilang live-in partner, dahil dyan sa third party, saka mo na ma-realize few weeks after few months, saka mo na ma-realize that that person is very, very important to you. You don't wanna lose that person. You are trying to put your family back together after all what you have done dahil nag-regrets ka na kasi na-realize mo na huli na na may ginawa ka may ginawa kang kasalanan anyway, hindi naman ka magre-regret sa una eh, pang huli naman talaga pero ang kahihiya na kinreate mo para sa pamilya mo sira na nakagawa ka na ng kahihiyan ang trust na sinira mo sa partner mo nagawa mo na at mahirap na was so magnetic about her that you just had to be with her instead of your, your wife. I, I don't I don't know that there was anything magnetic there. I, I think, you know, that was a spur of the moment bad decision. Yeah, I don't know, probably some unhappiness at home too. That's fairly well documented between Darcy and I that it hasn't been rosy. Because I just had a baby. And how many children do you have? Two. Both with him? Yeah. Okay. So you get her pregnant and so she you know what guys, I believe if a man is looking for a sexy woman or asking your vital statistic means he doesn't love you, he lost you. Kasi pag mahal ka talaga ng isang lalaki, whatever you looks like, 
Kahit gaano ka pa kataba, kahit gaano pa man ang physical appearance mo, He will love you. He will accept you. Pag hindi ka pregnant and you have a good vital statistics, your husband's or your partner amaze the way you look like. Pag once na ikaw ay buntis na and hindi ka na attractive sa kanya dahil malaki na yung tummy mo, and then he started to find an attractive woman. It's the greatest insult to our dignity as a woman. Hindi lang kasi dapat tayo mamahalin dahil maganda tayo at sexy. Dapat mamahalin tayo na kung, kung anong quality meron tayo. Tanggapin tayo at mamahalin, aalagaan kahit ano pa man ang itsura natin, kahit ano pa man ang katawan natin. Interesting. I mean, look, let's just be honest. I mean, and you're going to wind up divorced because you got one foot in the courthouse right now. I was miserable. Yeah, I was miserable. Right. And you thought you would fix it, attracted to. Wow. Never said it was a uh, wise decision. Well, when you do something really stupid, it's hard to unring the bell, isn't it? Do this. Uh, in my bed. In our house. In your house, in your bed. Uh-huh. Did I understand that the neighbor... Stairs told me. So she could hear you? Yeah, apparently. What well, you... I was like, you know, I busted you. Just come clean. And it took him a while to admit it. But he did. Went and got my car when I saw the girl. And did she... I want you to think this, guys. If your husband taking a mistress or any third party into your house without your knowledge just behind your back means he has no respect at all. There is no respect and love he left for you. By doing these actions, is he is taking your dignity away from you. You have to understand that. I... It still sounds horrible to me. I mean, that, it's good and fine to laugh about that now, but like, I, that was a bad, bad night that night. I mean, it was bad. I mean, I, I, I ended up in jail that night for crying out loud, you know, for doing nothing and trying to break up the that craziness fault, that was though. going in front of my daughter was watching for crying out loud. It was no, bad. No, wait a minute, are you? I do, but the damage is done. I love him. You love him, but? Yeah. But what? But I'm not as in love with him, and I don't. So what do you want to do? I want to figure this out. I want to stop this. Lauren? Honestly, guys, if your partner or your husband is having that infidelity business, it is not easy for us to move on as a woman. Even though you still love him, but the trust is getting away from you because of that circumstances. Why don't you give sometimes, why don't you give a space for yourself that you can think over it before you make another decision? There is no point giving him a chance if you are still hurting there. If there is no point of reconciliation without thinking carefully if you heal it or not if you move on from that situation or not times we need times for ourselves sometimes to think carefully before we make another decisions if you think he was neglecting you if you think he was neglecting you for such a long time if he is neglecting his responsibilities as a husband. He is neglecting that love. Why don't you give yourself love first? You need time to heal yourself and this is the right time to love yourself.